poof, and suddenly, boom, I got a face full of gas. And then the pilot light jumped and my face caught on fire. Jay Leno opens up in his first sit-down TV interview since suffering third-degree burns on his face and body and reveals he went home to his wife before going to the hospital. It just seemed like the right thing to do, and, it, and I think it was. On Wednesday, Jay sat down with Hoda Kotb on the Today Show and explained that the accident occurred while he was working on one of his cars with a friend, Dave Kalaki, last month. It was a 1907 a white steam car. So the fuel line was clogged. So I was underneath it trying to clog and I said, uh, blow some air through the line, let's see if we can clear. And then a line and then boom, and suddenly boom, I got a face full of gas. And then the pilot light jumped and my face caught on fire. And I said to my friend, I said, uh, Dave, I'm on fire. And Dave, okay. I said, no, Dave, I'm on fire. Thankfully, Dave was there to smother the fire and call 911. It was horrific. It was a scary thing. Of course, it's no secret that Jay is an avid car lover. In fact, he's dished to E.T. about his passion in the past. I grew up in a rural area in New England where there was always a broken car in a field. You know, so that's kind of where it started. Plus, I'm one of those people who think, you know, the heart works best when the head and the hands work together. It makes you appreciate how easy it is to make money work with your head. And while Jay loves his cars, when the incident occurred, it was his wife, Mavis, who was top of mind. I drove home right after that. My wife doesn't drive anymore, and I didn't want her stuck and not knowing what was going on. It, 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 it just seemed like the right thing to do, and, it, and I think it was. So. so you loved your wife more than you worried about yourself? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that Was that look, it? Look good. Well, well, I think there's something to that. The two have been married more than four decades. I flew to Los Angeles. I had about $500, and a guy had a 55 Buick for 350 I dated my wife in that car. We met in that car. That's why I still got it. What did your wife say when she saw you? Oh, thrilled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay suffered severe burns on his face, chest, and hands, and spent more than a week at a burn center. He's doing very well. He's got a very strong attitude. I've had to tell him that for the time being, he needs to sit back and take care of Jay. Doctors had to scrape away layers of burnt skin, a painful procedure. We have to remove the unhealthy tissue, and you remove the unhealthy tissue through a number of different ways, a process known as debridement. Sometimes that's scrubbing it down, and sometimes it's shaving it down. But Jay recently joked to the Wall Street Journal that he has a brand new face and added that it's better than what was there before. And a few days after his release from the hospital, Jay returned to the stage, performing for a sold-out crowd at the Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, California, where an eyewitness told E.T. the comedian appeared to be in good spirits. Arsenio Hall opened for Jay and praised his friend after the show, calling him an amazing guy. As for Jay, he says he doesn't want anyone feeling bad for him. People work with their hands, get injured every single day. Yeah. And I don't want to be some whiny celebrity. Oh, boo, boo, who is me? I don't want to be one of these people.